keeping your car clean can be a big challenge. I know for myself, I use mine every day, and if I don't keep up on it, it can become a really big mess. So let me show you what I like to do on a weekly basis to keep my car nice and clean. The first thing on the checklist is to remove all the trash and declutter the car. Now, something that's really helped me do this over the years is by making the rule that anything I bring into the car is always taken out on that same day. And this applies to shopping bags, old food like this here, your backpack, really whatever it is that you bring in the car, just build the habit of whatever you bring in, you always take out. What's really nice about doing this and building that habit is every time you get back in your car, it's no longer full of trash, your cup holders are empty, or maybe if you have some friends riding with you, all your seats and back seats are going to be nice and clear. Plus, when you do remove the trash, your car is going to be smelling much better because you won't have any stinky, lingering odors. Now, if you're like me, every time you go through a drive-thru, you get a straw wrapper like this, and usually you just throw it in the side compartment of your door. And over time, it really starts to add up and make a mess. So something I found that helps contain the mess is just one of these simple little teeny garbage cans. I got it over on Amazon. It's really nice though, because you can put it in your door or even a cup holder. And that way you always have a place to go with the garbage and it's super easy to empty out. Also, if you have kids like me, it's a great idea to just throw one in the back seat. That way you don't have things like old French fries, candy wrappers, even found a Pokemon card stuffed in between your seat cushions and your kids always have a place to go with their trash. The next thing on the checklist is to clean the mess. Usually I just like to grab them, bring them outside and give them a good shake. Now, because we're doing this on a weekly basis, usually they're not super dirty, so that shake outside is enough. However, I do live in Wisconsin and the winters can be pretty rough and salty and nasty on our mats. So usually in those times, I will kind of spot clean them as needed. Now you'll notice this mat here has some sand on it. Now, whenever you're taking your mats out of your car, especially if they're rubber, always tackle them like this because if you just pull one from the one side, all of that sand is going to go in the carpet and then you gotta vacuum it up. Now, if you have carpeted mats like this one here, still shake them out, but sometimes hair and things really likes to stick to this carpet and even after shaking, it will still remain. So what I like to use is just a lily brush or you can use an old rubber spatula. Just come through and give them a quick brush down. This is just gonna collect all the hair so you can easily pick it up like so. And now we're ready for our next step. And that is to vacuum the car. Now, this can be a little bit of a daunting task just because there's so many nooks and crannies in the car. But what I like to do, again, because this is just a weekly kind of maintenance clean, is this come through and get all those high touch areas like your cup holders. Usually the front seat mat area is pretty bad as well. Really, if I notice any area where kind of dirt and debris is starting to build up, I'll hit those quick. Now, by all means, if you kind of get into your cleaning zone, you get your rubber gloves on and you just want to crush vacuuming every square inch, go for it. But usually for myself, if I just set a timer for like 10 to 15 minutes, I'll vacuum as much as I can in that amount of time and then I'm done. Now, if you're wondering where to get this super helpful checklist, it's actually available to the Clean Squad members over on my Patreon. This is the third in our series so far. We've already done the bathroom and the kitchen, and there's many more to come. So if you wanna get your very own checklist, check the link down in the description and join the Clean Squad. Next up is to clean and wipe down the interior of your car. Now to do this, I like to keep things really simple. So I'll use just a Swiffer duster like this one here, come through, this works great on like the dash and even your speedometer and really just any nooks and crannies that are hard to get to, Swiffer duster is your best friend. For cleaner, I really like to use this one here called Express Interior Cleaner, kind of for a few reasons. The first being that it's safe on all surfaces, including your leather seats if you have those. The second thing is that it doesn't leave a residue, and this is really nice because you don't have to rinse the surfaces after cleaning. Plus, it doesn't have any additives like a protectant or anything that would be left on the surface. And usually when cleaners have those, they just dry sticky, kind of build up and get gummy on the surface, attract more dirt, and your car gets dirty faster. And the third thing is it has a nice pleasant odor, so it leaves my car smelling nice, clean, and fresh. Now, one thing to look out for is if you do have a screen in your car, you don't really wanna spray that with glass cleaner and things just because it can cause damage. So I like to just use a microfiber towel. Usually a dry one will get rid of all the fingerprints. Now, if you have some greasy fingerprints on there that you just can't quite remove, usually just getting it a little wet will work great to remove those. But with a quick buff, it will look almost brand new. 
Now I do like to pay special attention to things like your steering wheel, your door handles, and even your armrest because these are areas where body oils and things really like to build up just because they're very high touch surfaces. So by wiping them down, especially on a weekly basis, it's not gonna build up and you can keep your car nice and clean. One thing to look out for when you're wiping down the inside of your car is just to check the carpet or if you have cloth seats for any spots and spills. Usually it's best to clean those up sooner rather than later, especially if it was a food spill. Now I do have a few short videos on how to do this. I really like to use the Hoover Clean Slate little spotter machine. It does an awesome job. I'll put the links down for those videos in the description below. Now next up on the checklist here is to clean and organize the trunk. Now this is gonna be different for pretty much everyone just because we have all sorts of different types of cars. But I will say it's good to just take a couple minutes and just get anything out of there that doesn't need to be in there. I know for myself, the trunk just is a dumping ground of just throwing a bunch of stuff in there and you kind of forget about it. But there's nothing worse than when you go to open your trunk with an armful of groceries and you have no place to set them. Now, something that I'd like to do is just grab a little organizer like this one here. You can grab this over on Amazon. I have uh, some roadside assistance stuff in here, a little battery charger. I keep my reusable shopping bags and even my cleaner in here too. Next is to clean the windows and windshield. Now for this, I like to use this product here called Invisible Glass. Reason being is it's safe on tint, so it's not gonna cause any damage. Just spray it on and then come through with a two towel system. One towel to clean the window with the cleaner and then come through with a dry clean microfiber cloth to buff and get rid of any streaks that might be left behind. Now one area where grime does kind of like to hide is when the window goes up into the weather stripping there. So I'll just grab a little bit of the glass cleaner, roll down the window and make sure to get this top edge. Now for the windshield, I follow that same process of using the two towel system and my glass cleaner here, but it can be a little tricky to get it completely streak free. So I actually have a full step-by-step -step video on my YouTube channel here. I'll put a link down in the description. Go check that video out. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like when my car is nice and clean, it just feels like, whoops, it runs better. And maybe this is totally in my head, but drives faster too. I don't know, maybe I'm alone in thinking this. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. So the last step is to get an exterior car wash and that's what we're doing right now. Now I will say for the car wash, I like to use touch free over the soft touch. Yes, I know the soft touch can kind of do a little bit better job scrubbing, but I just had some bad experiences of it scratching my paint. So usually I just err on the side of caution with touch free. And there you have it. Now you know the best way to keep your car nice and clean. Thanks so much for watching as always. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and smashing that like button. I also need to give a huge shout out to the Clean Squad members over on Patreon. Thank you so much for your continued support of Clean That Up. If you wanna join us or get today's new checklist, click the link down in the description below and I'll see you on the next clean.